What is going on guys? Today I have a fantastic product for you, Pop AI, your personal AI workspace. And I'm here to tell you how it's gonna save you money, how it works, and we're gonna go over some of the features as well, and exactly how it's gonna save you the time and the headache of dealing with multiple accounts. So Pop AI is gonna be perfect for you if you're a student, if you are into professional writing, right? If you're a content creator as well. Uh, even if you are, you know, being a student, I hate reading and to sit and read is a headache. So I always dreamed of like, why can't I just ask this book itself the question uh, or the PDF file, for example, why can I ask the question and why can it not just answer to me? Well, Pop AI solved that uh, as well. So let me go over a couple of things first. Uh, so being for the pro package, uh, you can go through as well. So for example, the pro, uh, you get a lot of things that the free doesn't. And yes, that's right. It is free for a limited amount of things you can do, right? So uh, I'll cover that. So if you want to try this along with me as well, you can check out the link in the description uh, and try it along and get started. But the free, you can do basic volumes, which is like 10 standard questions a day. Uh, you can get two GPT and four GPT, uh, four questions in a day. Uh, and it does support 200 languages. So if English is not your number one language, don't worry, it will support 200 plus languages, right? Um, you do have limited pro features though, like two files a day uh, with chat with the doc, which is reading your document, right? Uh, and two free trials for image extraction, uh, support scan PDF in English with chat with documents and ongoing presentation projects and AI presentation, but it has limited accessibility, right? So what's the pros of the pro, right? So if you're the professional and you need more than that, so it's going to be really, really great, right? So you get 5,000 standard questions in a month uh, and you get 200 GPT, 4 GPT questions in a month as well. Full access with chat docs, 2,000 pages per PDF. Um, you do get the support scan PDF files in 94 languages, free switching between models, standard and GPT. You get the full access to the AI presentation, the full access to AI image, which is a lot. And, and honestly, if you think about it, $9 a month is not bad. Even if you pay for like the pro plan and chat GPT, it's 20 bucks a month. Uh, and I know a lot of people that actually pay for the pro plan on chat GPT. Uh, and they never like really use it that much. I mean, they use it a lot, but not so much um, to have the unlimited. So the pro is already good. Unlimited is even better at 40 bucks in a month. If you think about 20 bucks for ChatGPT plus like Dolly uh, and all of the other AI access, and we're gonna go over these features in just a second, but uh, you, you've already you've already reached that, but here you get so much more, right? So it's already saving you cash here. So you get the unlimited uses volume with ChatGPT4 for the questions and standard questions. You get unlimited uploads, file size up to 5,000 pages per PDF, and that's a big PDF file. Unlimited AI presentations, uh, the exports, unlimited exports for that. Uh, text editing, unlimited advanced templates as well. And what I love the most is probably the AI image, right? So unlimited AI image generation, uh, image uploads and multiple formats with some fast speed, right? So that's 40 bucks a month. Uh, if you pay annually, you'll actually save around 16%, $33. If you pay for the year uh, for unlimited pro is $8.30, right? So you can already see the benefit here. Right, so speaking about my favorite, aside from the AI text, right, is going to be the upload files, the chat with the document. It's very, very easy. So you can do it from a URL if you if you have the URL or if you already had a file downloaded. Like for example, I'm going to just open this one and I'm gonna scan it through. So it's uploaded, you can see it's already fast, right? So this one is on green energy, the need of the world, right? And here you can chat with it. Right, so you can see it's pulling up everything. You can kind of go ahead and look on the left. Uh, very, very cool. You can write uh, as well, and you can see standard, right? So I'm using the free right now, just to kind of show you how it works. And it's already giving you a like summary on this, right? So you can see it's pulling up everything. Um, but you can do the summary, summarize in the five bullets. You can summarize in one sentence to capture the main idea and provide a detailed summary with keynotes, which is really, really cool, especially if you're some, if you are a student, that's what I like, um, too. So for example, if I want just bullet points and I want to kind of edit on that a little bit, I don't want the full thing. I can just go to summarize in, into five bullets, right? 
uh, and then, uh, or I can make it into a presentation, for example. So create a presentation for educational training, create a presentation for academic conference. Uh, so if you are that professional, right, or maybe you're a teacher as well, uh, this is gonna help you create a presentation for that, which is super, super cool. Uh, and you can do like the output, right? So there's audio in English, so from German to Deutsch, Spanish, um, Netherlands, right? Africans, here's all the languages. Again, if you wanna do it for a different audience, but for example, in English, I want that output. So you can make a summary, you can make a presentation uh, into five bullet points. So I'll click that uh, to summarize into five bullet points just to kind of show you which is really cool. So here we go. And it already starts doing it, right? So, you know, like when we're doing ChatGPT, you need to like add this and you need to create this prompt. And sometimes it does, it's a little finicky. Well, here it's already done for you and it saves you that time, right? Um, now, if you kind of pay attention to like Bing, for example, some questions you may ask, you know, like they're always giving you the suggestions and it's kind of like working with you. It does the same thing as well. So like, how does the document describe the advantages of using green energy over non-renewable energy sources? Like, that's a good question. What are the applications of green energy that's outlined in the document? So you can kind of see it's going to ask you this. So you can kind of chat with this as well. And you can click adjust. So you can actually translate it. Uh, you can turn it uh, turn into related images which is really cool, which, for example, if you go to Dolly and you're like looking for green energy images, you know, windmill uh, or, you know, hydro electricity, for example, um, you have to add all of this in. So and then write this like perfect. It may not be as cool as you would like. So this kind of already does that for you. So it already has our uh, bullet points. And then let's say I want to make it to a presentation as well for an act for a business strategy session. Maybe I want to start a company. Uh, so business planning as well. Maybe I want to do uh, a green energy, um, a green energy business strategy. Um, let's say research findings, a lecture workshop. Let's say, yeah, a business strategy. So I can do that. Now, how many pages? I'm just going to make it look seven word amount. I can do brief, regular, detailed. Uh, let's do brief audience. Let's say an investor. Uh, slides from an analyst report, or you can do like documentation, public speeches, right? I think analyst report is pretty good. Image source, a basic search, you can do, um, no, well, here we, we can only do the basic until you pay. You can do an AI search or an AI generation. So let's just do a basic search, uh, and then just click this, and then this will start to uh, work with us. But you can see the pluses to the pro, right? So here is the presentation that we're going to create uh, right here off the bat. And you can see it's moving up very, very fast. And there we go. There we have uh, page one and nine. And you can see it. So it used from page one, page 10 and page nine. And it depends on the document that you're doing, but you can see already how fast uh, it's working. Right. So going back now, that's the chat with the document, how you can use the document to save you the time there and the presentation as well. Uh, so well, let's go here. Now there's a couple of ways to do this, right? So you can see also on the left side, you can do it like a new chat, uh, which is here, uh, or you can just type in your message right here and so forth. Now you can be in, you can upload an image, you can upload a file, right? The same thing, uh, even with the document here. So we did chat with the document. Right, so, and you can even see for professionals, cited sources, support scan files, uh, for students, for researchers, for professionals, you have the AI presentation. Now, you can see that it dropped this here, right? But even if we just go back to the homepage, you can do the same thing, right? It's gonna go to the same place, the AI presentation and the educational writing. It's just gonna go to these right here. Now you have my projects, so you can create a new presentation, click start, and then how many pages, the same thing that we did on the document, the chat with the document, right? So everything is, you're gonna be able to circle back to it in many different ways. So again, going back to like educational writing, uh, really, really fantastic. So you can actually do an email corrector maybe for your business or your school, right? Keyword ideas, if you're a content creator, which is really good. Um, and you even have the research proposal. Again, for example, if we're doing it for a business uh, proposal or investors, uh, or maybe you even need something for your math class. Now, God, that I needed that. So you can turn any questions into latex, 
Right, so uh, as you scroll down, you see these up here, the flow charts, the presentations, the blog, and articles. So you can find all of that just by scrolling down as well. I'm just going to scroll down just so you can kind of see. So we went over academic, uh, career, a cover letter for a job title. Uh, you can actually fix your job resume, right? Uh, maybe you're wanting to get a different job. Maybe you're wanting to... Um, you know, get a different position with inside of your career that you're working on there. That's perfect. You can, um, if you're still looking for a job, you can do, you can prepare for a job interview. So you can actually replicate an interview and chat, uh, and write a LinkedIn post or a career transition as well. So if I click preview, uh, the transition, you can see the objective is blah, blah, blah. I am an architecture designer and you can see the conversation right off the bat, right? Uh, your job resume as well. Uh, and you can click here and you just kind of take a look and you can see your skills and you just write everything down and it will, the resume will actually be pulled up for you. Um, all right, that's career blogs and articles. Articles. If you are a content creator, this is going to be super helpful for you. So like generate short story, web search, travel blogs, human like rewriters. So maybe you want to kind of rewrite this a little bit to kind of give you an idea. Uh, you can do the same thing. So if I click on the human like rewriter, uh, you can take a look at the preview and you can kind of see what that looks like, research questions, uh, and it will rewrite all of this for you as well. Okay, uh, so persuasive paragraph rewriter, you have the SEO, that's perfect for you if you're the content creator. So generate YouTube SEO titles and descriptions, meta descriptions from text, keyword generators, and e-commerce uh, SEO, so you can actually generate uh, product description. So it's super cool if you are a copywriter, for example, uh, or you have that job as a copywriter, it's going to save you that time and help you kind of come up with the words because I've done some copywriting before as well. And I found that it's very hard to really describe something. So I needed a lot of help. And sometimes chat GPT by itself wasn't enough, uh, but it, this pulls everything together. And plus, I don't have to go back and forth between tabs and stuff. Everything is right here, right? Uh, TikTok marketing tools. If you're a marketing in, into marketing, brainstorm generator. Again, if you need ideas, um, you can actually do a best and shortest summary, super tech translator uh, for summarizing and translate and translating all in one translation and coding even. So if you're into coding or if that's your job or maybe you're going to school for it, right? This will help you with your homework even. So you have full stack HTML, CSS, JS expert, the cloud expert. You can actually tra transform your data into an SQL uh, table and you can code like a senior. So you can actually reduce the code size just like a senior coder would do as well. And readme generators. So you can actually generate uh, markdown formats and stuff. So it's very, very easy. Now I'm going to scroll back up because we kind of skipped it as we went through. So the presentations, you can create a new presentation, business plan, pitch decks, right? So for example, here you can see the pitch to investor business plan, basic search, data analysis report, uh, the institute introduction assignment report, a lesson material slides. Now you can, you can change all of this the same, right? Like how we did earlier with the document. Uh, this, this is all available right here. So you can change this too if you want. Right, so how many pages, right not. So these are just some templates that kind of puts all of it in for you as well. Uh, let me just minimize that. Uh, flow charts, PPT composers, create speaker notes, uh, and image of Dolly. And I'm going to show you that as well. So you can actually do an image generation, uh, quick text extractor. So you can actually extract text, text from images to an actual edible format, right? So that's super handy as well. Uh, snapshot homework, data visualization, code reconstruction. Um, you have Leonardo AI prompt as well, mid journey prompts, wallpaper makers, right? So it's like everything. But um, for example, if I go to Dolly, just to show you how like, I mean, I'm sure you know what it is. Let's say photo, photo that best. And, and again, I'm just kind of doing this for the video, but photo that best represents green energy again. And I'll keep, click here. So it's going to do this. Of course, you can change your prompt, right? Um, to how you want, but just to show you Dolly. Uh, and it will use Dolly too, especially if you have the pro plan and you're looking for the images, it will use Dolly to generate images best for uh, that document that we shown earlier, but to kind of show you what it's doing. So it's just going to take a little bit of moment, uh, a little bit of time, uh, and we'll get it moving.
All right, and you can see like this is one. It's kind of showing all of the green energy, which is really really cool, right? So we have the sun, uh, we have the turbine generators, uh, hydroelectricity, right? So for solar energy, and you can see it off the bat. And right here, uh, we can share that. We can copy it, like, dislike, share your thoughts. But you can kind of see how that's working right there. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Pop AI. Um, I really urge you to go and try it so be sure to click on the link in the description try it out um and let us know what you think as well and save a lot of time save a lot of money and like i said that hassle of going back and forth between tabs and using different um well, all of these different things molt like all over the place it's a headache and it makes your day so much worse but pop ai puts all it all together and it's going to save you that hassle right so all right guys thank you for watching see you again